Morky Poo Information, Facts, and Images. Often described as small, energetic, and with just a little bit of mischievousness, the Morky Poo, also just called the Morky, inherited all of the best traits from its parents. If you're a person that wants a dog but doesn't have a ton of space, the Morky is able to live a full and enriched life in an apartment or single-person home. The Morkshire Terrier, as it is sometimes called, is the perfect companion even if space isn't plentiful. Just be ready for a lot of snuggling with this adorable and loving dog. If any of that piques your interest, stay tuned for more facts and tidbits about the Morky, as well as some suggestions for how to best care for them. What is a Morky Poo? The Morky Poodle breed is the offspring of the Yorkshire Terrier, Maltese, and Poodle, which gives it a unique blend of personality traits that many owners find absolutely adorable. There is an inherent energy to the breed, which is just as endearing as how sweet and gentle they are. The Morky is considered to be a designer dog, and when weighed against others with that billing, they are on the smaller side, which is a plus if you aren't looking for a dog that needs a lot of exercise. That being said, the Morky Poo isn't going to just be a bump on the log and will enjoy moving around the house and investigating around the neighborhood on walks. The Morky is a great dog if you are into traveling, since they are easy to carry around and remain relatively calm when doing so if you expose them to it early on. Morkies probably hold the crown for snuggling too, and so expect a lot of close contact with your Morky, even if you're not the one to initiate it. While Morkies are ultra affectionate to their owners, they can often be timid or even a little shy when meeting people, but will usually warm up after being exposed to that person for a little bit. For that reason, it is usually smartest to introduce people to your Morky Poo at your home where they are most comfortable. After that, it's only a matter of time before they're cuddling up to your friend too. History Breeders started crossing the Yorkshire Terrier and Maltese in the 90s with the goal to create a dog that possessed the traits that dog owners today love most about the breed, that being affectionate, friendly, and low shedding. The breeders were right in their assessment, and dog breeders fell in love with the Morky Poo almost instantly. As demand went up, more and more breeders got in on the action, which unfortunately caused a considerable amount to wind up without a home and in shelters. Because of this, you should not only vet your breeder to make sure they're reputable and treat their dogs with respect, but consider checking out your local shelter or specific rescues for Yorkshire Terriers and Maltese in case there is already a Morky waiting for a new forever home. Size Compared to other designer dogs like the Doodle, there isn't a ton of variation in sizes, mostly due to the fact that the breed hasn't been around that long. Morkies stand at around 4 to 8 inches and weigh between 7 and 13 pounds. Looking at the Maltese and Yorkie tell you that this dog isn't probably going to fluctuate a ton in size, since the parents are small as well, which is a lot of the charm for these kinds of dogs. Personality The personality and attitude of the Morkie is really where the pet shines, and why so many choose the Morkie for a pet. Even people that don't consider themselves dog lovers can't resist the Morky's charm, which have appropriately been labeled as fluff balls by owners. The Morky is intensely affectionate with their owner, and almost everyone that has owned one has talked about a type of relationship unlike what is common for other breeds. The Morky is known to have a personality much larger than their stature, and they love to socialize not only with humans, but other dogs as well, making them a perfect option for the dog park. The Morky is known to be stubborn, which can be endearing to some and frustrating to others, but this trait is pretty common across the board for Morkies and is something to be aware of. You'll have to be patient and persistent in training them to try and limit their stubbornness, but a little work while they're young goes a long way in making them more manageable in the future. Morkies, ironically enough given their size, are considered to be good watchdogs since they'll never hesitate to let you know when something's up. If you have a Morky, you'll never need a doorbell since they're sure to let you know when someone is approaching. A Morky is most content when they are getting attention, and they will almost always be found around people in the house, even if they don't particularly care for the person. It's just in their nature to be where the action is. Despite this, Morkies do best with small families and even better with single-person homes, since they demand a lot of attention and aren't always thrilled when it's being given to others instead. Health. 
the Morkie is a victim to its parents' health concerns, and luckily enough, both the Yorkie and Maltese are relatively healthy animals. But it's important to be aware of red flags and risks all the same. Morkie poodles typically live between 10 and 13 years, and the best way to ensure that they live long and healthy lives is to take frequent trips to the vet to get checkups, and to look out for issues like glaucoma, cataracts, dental diseases, and hernias, among others. Since the Morkie lives over a decade and shares the genetic makeup of dogs that live well over a decade, it is important you are able to commit to over a decade of continued care before considering this breed. Coat Color and Grooming The Morkie Poo typically inherits the coat color of either the Yorkie or Maltese, so their coat can vary from white to black or even a mix of both, which can be pretty striking to see. An interesting piece of trivia about the Morkie, as well as the Yorkshire Terrier and Maltese, is that all of them actually have hair and not fur, and so they are going to require proper and regular grooming to prevent issues. It's also worth noting that the Morkie's coat color can actually change over time, an exciting prospect that your dog will still surprise you even after they're done growing. Since Morkies are non-shedding, they are going to have to be brushed often as well as going to a groomer in order to prevent clumping and matting of their hair. While not technically being hypoallergenic, their non-shedding nature alone helps a ton with allergies and is a breed to consider if you or a family member suffers from them. Coat Color Options While we aren't going to talk too much more about coat colors, it might be helpful to give you a quick rundown of the options available for Morkies so you can know what's out there. With that in mind, here's a list of possibilities and a little about each of them. White on a dog is always a hit, and there's something about the regal nature of it that makes it hard to pass up. In the case of the Morkie, it gives them a look that is as disarming as it is adorable. There is no doubt why this is one of the most popular looks out there. If the parents have black hair, there's a really good chance yours will too. A Morkie with the silky black hair really brings out their eyes, which aren't quite as noticeable in most of the other colors. Brown is another standard color for the Morkie, and there are even different shades out there so you can feel even more unique in whatever you decide looks best. You can't go wrong with any of them either. If you want to snuggle up to a dog that looks like a real-life teddy bear, then tan might be the winner here. The Morkie becomes even more gentle looking and fluffy in tan and is a perfect snuggle companion. White and tan is almost a classic at this point and combines the softness of the tan with a bit of prestige in white. This is a very popular option and the two-toned nature is always a treat. Lastly, we have the tricolor option, which usually comes in white, black, and brown. This option isn't quite as popular as the others, but gets a lot of points for how unique it is. Care We already talked a bit about how important it is to take your Morkie in for frequent checkups and groom them, but like all dogs, there's more to properly caring for them than just that. Because of their high level of energy paired with their stubbornness, it's very important to try and get your Morkie out and move in to blow off some steam, which can make a world of difference in their temperament. It's recommended to shoot for around 30 minutes a day of exercise, with some playtime and other forms of stimulation sprinkled in throughout the day as well when possible. Be careful with overworking them too though, since it is possible to injure them if you push them too hard, but as long as you're paying attention, you should be able to avoid that. You should also try and trim their nails once or twice a month at least, so that you don't cause them any pain or discomfort. And try to brush their teeth daily, since small dogs have a habit of getting dental diseases much faster than larger breeds. Finally, instead of the typical leash around the neck, it's recommended to try a harness instead, since tracheal collapses are common in Morkies, so avoiding adding strain on the neck and throat is a very important task for owners. Feeding Morkies are susceptible to weight gain if you overfeed them, and so it's important to try and establish a routine with the dog to avoid this. Feed them on a schedule when possible, and don't give them too many treats either. A dog's diet will also change when they start to get older, and that's no different for Morkies, so consult your vet and listen to them when they suggest dietary changes, as properly caring for your dog's nutrition can be daunting if you have to do it all on your own. Are Morkies good with children or other pets? This is a frequently asked question, and for good reason. 
Because Morkies are injury prone, it is not recommended to leave them unattended with small children, especially high energy ones. Although older children should be absolutely fine to hang around with your canine companion. Morkies also have no issue with other animals and pets, although it's worth noting that you should introduce them to other dogs as soon at a young age so that they can become comfortable being around them. And that's all for our video today. We love Morkies and hope we were able to shed some light on one of our favorite dogs. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like as it helps us out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. That's all for me, guys. Bye!